Hello everyone, welcome back to new video. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Razor Pay payment gateway integration in our Android application. So let's get started. So the first thing, go to build.gradle module app level file, add this dependency, and then after sync your project. All right, and make sure in our build.gradle project level file, uh, we have Maven Central in our repositories. All right. Okay, so now jump in our main activity. So before writing any code in our main activity, we need to go razorpay.com. So after that, sign up yourself, and after sign up, you are going to see this kind of page. Okay, so after that, go to settings, go to this API key, generate an API key for yourself, and then after we are going to integrate the Android SDK in our Android application. So this is the steps. So click on integration steps and uh, yes, this is our Android SDK integration part. So these are some features. So the prerequisite is create a Razor Pay account, which we already did. And also we already create our API keys. And just after we are going to install our Razor Pay Android SDK, which we also did. Maven central and dependency in our build.gradle module app level file. This is our build.gradle project level file. Then after we are going to initialize our Razor Pay Android standard SDK. So we need API key for that. So we already created that thing. So leave it. If you want to use any kind of ProGuard rules, you should copy this code and paste in your ProGuard. So here ProGuard rules. All right. But uh, we don't want to use this ProGuard pro uh, rules. Alright, so the step 3 is create an order in your server. So I just going to tell you how the things is working. So now consider this M is represent our Android client. This S is represent our server and this R will represent the Razor Pay server. Alright, so if we are going to use order ID then what we need to do we make a post request to our server and our server will basically call this razor pay with some information and after the processing of that information in our razor pay server it will return back us a response and on that response we have one field naming order id so that order id is going to be sent back to our android client and our Android client will after that make a JSON object and on that JSON object we have one field naming order ID all right we are going to see uh, all the things but uh, wait a second I just tell you everything so after the uh, getting order ID successfully it will process our payment and Razor Pay will simply process that payment all right so this is the whole uh, you can say flow and if it is a case you don't have any server so you can't generate any order id so if you are not going to generate any kind of order id then on that particular occasion uh, you should uh, not send the order id from our mobile device to our razor pay server fine so now we are going to see the android part so go to activity main xml so this is very simple a text input layout and a material button and the id is process payment and our text input edit text has id amount go to main activity and i am going to taking the difference of amount edit text and the process so the process is basically material button so we are going to attach a set on click listener event so we attach in here we take the amount text from our edit text we check that it is not empty if it is empty then we simply return to our this set on click listener lambda function lambda expression and after that if it is not empty we are going to in, uh, trigger our start payment function and we will simply send our amount and now we are going to make a checkout object so if you go down in here so you are going to see so you can see public wide start payment and check out dot set id key set the id and here is the main part the options json object so in here we have the field name in which we send our name our description 
our theme color if you want to set any kind of theme color our currency in my case it is INR and make sure if you want to use INR then send the amount in the paise format so for example if you want to uh, make a transaction of 10 rupees then you should send the thousand in our amount json json field all right and if you want to uh, send email then we have a prefill and then our prefill will contain the email so prefill dot email prefill dot contact will have the contact number and after that at the last we simply check out and open our uh, activity so open pass our activity in here which in my case is this and the option which we have created in here so this is what the whole transaction uh, flow we are going to implement the payment result listener in our activity and we simply override these two methods so on payment success is triggered when our payment is successfully processed and uh, it is uh, on payment error is called when any kind of error is occurred so it is pretty sim uh, simple and then after this is not the whole thing you need to attach some more thing in our manifest so go to manifest and first we are going to add these queries so the the work of this query is if you want to use phone pay in our razor pay payment gateway then uh, for that we have to specify the package which we want to open so our android system our framework will simply come here and check the queries so the first query is for uh, google pay and the second one is for phone pay so it will open that application and after that it will process our transaction from there that is why we have to need we have to write the code in here manifest uses permission internet of course we we want to use this permission in our manifest and then after add the receiver if you want to use android uh, android api level 30 plus then you have to add this receiver and the activity in your android in, in your manifest file and at the last you have your metadata in which you placed your key id all right so this is the complete application and if you want to run this application then please run the application and application will successfully running and if you want to look out the source code then i will put the github repository link in the description box so go there and check the description uh, go there and check the source code how it is uh, look like and please read this documentation too so that uh, you are going to get the clear idea how the things is running under the hood so that's it from my side and at the end i just attach my screen recorder of the application so that you look how the application will run uh